did the restoration on the car, uh, they were getting ready to just release the step two, uh, that's a 2.8 liter stroker. And they said, you know, hey, we, uh, we gave you serial number one of like the step two, you know, your engine's ready. Wow. What's going on guys? Tyler from That Racing Channel. Back at you with another episode and I got something special today. I'm here in Phoenix and I'm at my buddy's warehouse checking out his awesome collection full of some classic JDM cars and even a special R33 and R34 Fed Legal that we're gonna take a look at. Let's go. Okay, so I'm here with the janitor and he's gonna, oh wait, that's Jordan. <laughs> yeah. well, what's up, dude? How's it going? Doing good, how are you? <laughs> Doing good, man. I see the amazing collection here. Yeah. Thank you for uh, for bringing me here, it's awesome. Yeah, no problem, man. So let's, uh, let's take a look at this R33. Why don't you tell me a little bit about it? Yeah, sure. So a friend told me about this car. Uh, this car is HKS T002. HKS took delivery of this car brand new and this is the car that provided all of the jigs for you know, intercooler kits, exhaust. Basically, this was their development car. They took it apart right away. It went out and set the Sakuba lap record. Uh, it set the zero to 300 km record within you know, a half a second of basically like a McLaren Senna, like I was saying. I ended up buying the car. My friend told me about it, that it was going up for auction with BH Auction out of Japan. It's like a small scale kind of boutique auction. Yeah. And he said, hey, this car's selling. I'm like, all right, look it up. I'm like, tomorrow, I got plenty of time to get my affairs in order. I'd seen the car when I was a kid in options videos. So yeah. it was just like unreal, right? Because this, this car is the car that you can get in Gran Turismo, right? Yeah, so and, and like on top of that, it's like, it's the car, you know? <laughs> they, they did all the development, they did all the parts, and then the car sat in their graveyard for like 17 years. And my buddy over there, who's my contact now at HKS, he's, they, they pulled it out for Tokyo Auto Salon, restored it uh, just to showcase their new parts, et cetera, right? So I'm like, man, it's like restored just like it was in the 90s. Like this is incredible. The opportunity is amazing. Long and short, man, I, I end up going, I Google like local Japan time because I want to email the auction. Yeah. And you know, I'm pretty ignorant. I didn't know that it was the next, it was the next day there already. So auction was happening in like four hours. Oh. So I'm like, oh my God, you know, it's like six o'clock at night. So I email 911, you know, call me, please God. <laughs> yeah. And uh, they end up calling me, super cool people. They let me register last minute, provide them everything that they needed. And I'm on the phone and just phone bidding with a, an English translator. Dang. And uh, there was a guy from Australia and then a couple guys stateside that were trying to buy the car. All right guys, we're about to take a ride in the R33 car is so crazy it's so awesome to think that you could literally pick this car in Gran Turismo this exact car was the car that they used for Gran Turismo and Jordan has it it's just so crazy if this fuel pump is louder than your exhaust you're about to get gapped yeah <laughs> basically was the car that set the scuba lap record um it actually had a full interior it was a totally normal car when they did that but when they pulled it back out they gutted it they repainted it 
Uh, they have a carbon fiber division that did all the custom carbon in the car, the rear deck, the, the door panels, the dash. It, you know, basically you see what you see today. So it's, it's an homage, if you will, right? It pays homage to the original car, exact livery, exact everything, but just all of their modern stuff. So the new F-Con, new race pack, et cetera. Wow, so let's pop the hood, let's, let's yeah. take a look. Yeah, so when HKS did the restoration on the car, uh, they were getting ready to just release the step two, uh, that's a 2.8 liter stroker. And, you know, they're super nonchalant about this stuff. Like when you're talking to them via email and they're like, you know, we prepared your engine. I'd agreed to restore the car and do the engine, the entire drivetrain, nut and bolt restoration. And they said, you know, hey, we, uh, we gave you serial number one of like the step two, you know, your engine's ready. Wow. And they're like, we initialed your, uh, you put your initials in the block. And zero zero one JS. So what what size turbo is that? And what I mean, what are some of the internals? What's going on here? So that's the new HKS. That's a GT three five R. That's their new gen single. Oh. Um, it's not like the smaller twins. The car actually had smaller twins when it set those records. Oh. So this is kind of the going back to what I said. This is all of their new modern stuff, just offered on you know kind of the old school platform. That's crazy. Yeah. So fuel system, everything. What is what kind of yeah. power is it making? So low boost map, about 600 all-wheel horsepower, and uh, high boost map, about 750 all-wheel. The motor is rated for a lot higher, but mm -hmm. it's a circuit car, and I mean, it's so fast by, I think, like our standards, you know, you yeah. almost think it's like a straight line car. Yeah. So the fact, you know, they steer the car just blows me away, but yeah, high boost, 750 all-wheel. And the interior, I mean, it is, it's straight up race car, right? Like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Um, I did hear one thing. You have power windows, though. I do. I have power <laughs> windows. So they were really cool. I said, hey, you know, I have to get the headlights working, taillights, brake lights, and then, hey, if you could put power windows. So they dug the motors out. They wired up power windows and uh, headlights, taillights. Everything works. So, so I, I heard you start this thing earlier, and I'll have you start it up here in a second, but let me see this fuel system that yeah, you got sure, going sure. on here. So it's all in the trunk now. So just a monster welding pump, the FPR is back here, um, small fuel cell to, you know, uh, offset on the driver's side, so passenger side to offset the driver weight. Man, that's got to be rated for way more than... Yeah, well, <laughs> the welding, the welding was so loud, yeah. I was like, man, what's going on here? It's rated for like 2400 <laughs> wheel, so the car is not making near that, it's probably recirculating a ton of fuel, so I might get like an adjustable uh, knob in the future. <laughs> seeing yeah. a bunch of signatures yeah so these guys this is actually everyone that took part in the restoration i in full transparency i asked them to do this because i just wanted to pay homage to all the guys that crafted this car it's an incredible piece of machinery and the the build is just ocd like so every single bolt marked those are actually signatures from hks yeah so from all of their employees oh, that's that took awesome. part in it yeah my the team leader of the project and then my contact over there who's been you know become friends with he's just an awesome guy and i mean the one thing that i think is so cool about your collection is that not only do you have something like this you also have type r's and yeah. preludes i mean yeah. so i've always loved cars you know so i i'm you know i'm 35 and i think uh anyone like in this age bracket we're chasing those cars from our childhood i can remember my friend bought a prelude for example i just thought it was like a rocket ship you know <laughs> at the time it was the fastest car i'd ever been in and then you know you just kind of i think you buy what you love you know and what you couldn't afford when you were a kid and uh, i really just try to find low mileage nice examples and yeah you know i really like black cars. speaking of nice examples my absolute favorite that right there is a fed legal r34 that's uh, one of, I think, 15 now that counts up to, Motorex R34s. I bought this car from my buddy Cameron uh, at CNC Motors at the time. He's an awesome guy, man. He said, hey, we just had someone come in and do a buy bid on an R34. They wanted to get rid of it, and 
you know, I just was like, ah, there's no way it's a real Motor X car. <laughs> yeah. So sure enough, he like sends me a picture of the, you know, the bond release and I just couldn't believe it. So I uh, wired the money side and scene. I was at a work conference. Um, <laughs> this is one of those cars where you just absolutely yeah. have to do that, yeah. right? When I bought it, so a really low KM car, hard Jeez. to find them in that condition. Um, and then my friend Dan at uh, Dan Hogan at Hoagie Shine. Yeah. Um, every like panel had just a little something that like I couldn't paint correct out. So we ended up just he blew the car apart, pulled the glass, we put all new old stock everything. It was such a low KM car. Um, I really wanted to make it look perfect. So Dan Hogan Hoagie Shine resprayed the thing. And it just came out amazing. Even almost kind of like left the orange peel like it was from the factory. Dude, it's it's absolutely pristine. And I mean, I was I was looking at it close, and it's just such a beautiful car. And Thanks, I mean, man. also, I mean, I know that you have the SVR over there, but this car behind you. Yeah. So this is a, this is a Dallas Performance RS RS1 car. Um, it makes about 1600 wheel. So the yeah. fastest this car, it's a gated. Uh, yeah. A gated, gated trans. <laughs> I've uh, we we went to Mexico yeah, in this thing. Gated six speed, so I mean, I have I've been in this car and it is the fast, the absolute fastest car that I've that I've been in. So, yeah, man, it, um, why don't it you run stock? You know, it runs it runs great like a daily driver. That's the one thing that I didn't believe about that car yeah. is that it really drove so smooth. And yeah, so they drive nice. they drive good. You it, know, you can really live with one every day. The guys over there did a great job. It's tuned on Cyvex, yeah, and I mean, it can be driven every single day. So why don't you uh, why don't you start this thing up for me? I wanna I wanna hear it idle and hear some revs if we can. Yeah, sure. That's the wrong side. Well, I was going to start it, but then got to the red, so when I first got the 34, I had to get used to that. Yeah. So like when I go to the wrong side of the car, I'd leave like a CD on the passenger seat. <laughs> so I would just grab the CD and be like, I had to grab this. There's no classy way to get in this. No, there's not. So you got your main power, master, ignition turns on, quiet fuel pump, and then this is electric power steering. Like we said, that fuel pump is not quiet. <laughs> this car is absolutely crazy. Bro, this is the exact uh, fuel they tune the car on in Japan. Oh, 260 right? GT Plus. It just happens to be here at the local pump. And so we're putting a 101 octane in, right? Race gas? Yeah, 101, the car runs on 260 GT, which is a fuel we can get in both countries. That was a big deal that they wanted to make sure we could get the fuel here. Yeah. It's on FCON, which is uh, not a lot of tuners stateside. Oh, yeah. And yeah, they, believe it or not, man, were able to, uh, they were able to do the cartoon on 260. And I have this pump like two miles from, you know, from the warehouse. Yeah. It's close. I can tell you have a diverse uh, taste in colors. <laughs> so this thing is this thing is pretty much stock, right? Yeah, pretty stock. Um, HKS intercooler, HKS amplifier, and then trust exhaust. So stock turbos. The boost pills uh, removed, so it makes about a bar of boost. Yeah. So I, I've ridden in this car, and this is much more dailyable, if you would say, yeah, than, yeah. than this car. No, 100%. And it, it runs really, uh, it runs really good. So like in the summers, it's like 120 here. Yeah. Uh, the AC works awesome, keeps the car nice and cool, never overheats. I drive the car all summer. It runs awesome. It's a lot more drivable than this one. <laughs> yeah. So, That's yeah. one thing I got to give you kudos because if I had this, I don't know that I'd ever be able to drive it on the street, honestly. 
it's like nerve wracking. Like uh, sometimes I try not to like go out in like five o'clock traffic. Try not to, or like go out at night. You know? Dude, you get spotted all the time. I know. That's actually the hard part. Is like there's a church right by my house that I have like pull over at and talk to people because I don't want to be rude and like not you know talk to someone about a car. You know, but yeah, especially something like this. Like this must be an absolute magnet for all the JDM guys. Yeah. <laughs> It's so clean. Yeah, the interior is really immaculate, and that's what really drew me to the car. You can do a lot of stuff with, you know, body paint, trim, but finding like a mint dash, mint center console, the V-spec too, like the brushed titanium look, that stuff is like really hard to come by. Yeah. And that's the hardest part of like doing any sort of restoration. So a lot of this, just the new old stock trim and stuff was high priced, it took forever to find, it took I a bet. long time to get but that's why the exterior looks so good. So the interior was immaculate when I bought the car. It was this time capsule. Yeah. Is the whole car clear, Ron? Yeah, the whole car, uh, Andrew and Osbra. The, the whole car. car. Yeah. So literally every, and it's it's so beautiful. Yeah, you did an awesome job on it. So I, I have to ask, cause I mean, you have such crazy taste in cars. I mean, if you see over here, you have an Integra, a Prelude, and these aren't even all of, I mean, one of your favorite cars the SRT4. Is an SRT4 the that's SRT4 not here. SRT4 is not here. It's at the other spot. We just moved into this place. I really love that car. It's got good <laughs> air conditioning. It hauls ass. It's a stage three car. I think it's a great car. So this Subaru, that's a 40,000 mile? No, so this is a 04. This is an 11,000 mile oh, car. Oh, 11,000 yep. miles. Yep, and it came out, of, uh, came out of Michigan. An engineer owned it. Uh, kept it in pristine condition. I think I'm pretty OCD, but like <laughs> the car that's looks just unbelievable. And then one kind of a gentleman's STI, so he swapped in, brand new from the dealership, bought the STI Limited, the 07s. Yeah. He made that black leather interior, black carpet, black door panels. So he ordered everything new at the dealership, put it in, and like anyone who's like really good at keeping stuff, he kept every stock part. So I have all the stock parts for the car still. And here we have a Mint Type R, right? Yeah, so this is a uh, 35,000 mile ITR. I bought this actually off the original owner. It was a one owner car out here. I found it on Craigslist, no pictures. <laughs> what the heck? And, but I bought this car well before the ITR market really blew up just yeah. because I figured, man, I'm not, you know, I don't see these anymore. They're not stock. They've all been stolen. And this car's bone stock, you know, one owner. And it sat in storage for about 13 years. So it's kind of like a barn find. The kid owned it. He gave it back to his dad. His dad kept it in storage. Like I said, kind of a barn find. He's like, I just don't want it anymore. So it's time to slam it, put it on slipstream, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah, pop the, some uh, bangs to <laughs> Rep wheels only club. Yeah. Yeah. And then the Prelude, man. Yeah, the Prelude, 22,000 mile car out of Washington. And like car, just cars stay so clean in Washington. Yeah. They don't get dusty. Like it's just, it's a great place to buy cars from. No rust. And this car is just immaculate. And the interior is like a time capsule. Wow. And manual too. Yeah, manual. Everything. It's not yeah. an SH, but it's still, it's still uh, it's pretty quick for what it is. I love it. That's awesome. Well, yeah. thank you so much for showing us the collection, man. It's been awesome. Yeah, dude. Have a good Always. one. Later, man.